Okay, welcome to this lesson on polynomial long division. It is a revision um, from year 10, so uh, let's get started. Um, first of all, I'd like you to pause the video and actually have a go at these two questions. You'll learn a lot more if you're actually doing these questions rather than just um, watching me do them. So we're going to divide 6x cubed minus 4x squared minus 9x by 3x. So I'm hoping you've already had a go. So um, let's do it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write it as a fraction and I'll have 6x cubed minus 4x squared minus 9x over the top of um, 3x. I'll factorize x out at the top and I've got x outside of 6x squared minus 4x minus 9 all over the top of 3x. Um, this and this cancel and I'm going to have um, 6 on 3 is 2 so 2x squared minus what's that 4 thirds of x I think and minus 9 on 3 is 3. So you can see here I've divided um, and got another polynomial. Am I forgetting something? Looks like I'm forgetting something. What did I forget? The x here. And we know this is a polynomial because um, all their powers are integers 2, 1 and 0. And we also know that even though we've got a fractional coefficient it's still a polynomial. So let's do another one now. Let's do this one here. I uh, hope you're pausing the video and actually doing these. So we've got um, x squared plus 4x minus 5 over the top of x plus 5. Um, give the top a factorize and we've got x plus 5, x minus 1, I think that's right, over x plus 5, give these two a cancel, and we've got x minus 1. And I guess, of course, um, x can't equal to 5. Okay, so that's the basic idea of dividing a polynomial. Um, but notice that when we've divided these two polynomials by another polynomial, we're left with another polynomial. That's not always the case. Just like when you divide an integer by another integer, you're not always left with an integer. 6 divided by 2 is 3, but 7 divided by 2 is 3 and a half. So you don't always get an integer when you divide two integers, and you also don't always get a polynomial when you divide two polynomials. Okay, so let's now do an example of that. So here's one where we're not going to get a polynomial, okay? We've got x to the power of 4 plus 4x squared minus 9 over x squared. So we'll do this division and I'm going to have, and again you're pausing it and actually having a go before I'm, you're just watching me doing these, x to the power of 4 plus 4x squared minus 9 over the top of x squared and I've got what? x squared plus 4 minus 9 on x squared and if you look at this part here you can see that this makes it not a polynomial because this is like 9x to the minus 2 and you can't have negative integers in a polynomial. Alright, let's do the next one. So we've got here x plus 4 over x plus 3 and you might be thinking how am I going to divide this when I technically haven't taught you polynomial long division yet but just watch. This is going to be x plus 3 plus 1 over x plus 3 which is going to be x plus 3 over x plus 3 plus 1 over x plus 3 and let's just put our answer on this side which is 1 plus 1 on x plus 3 and again it's not a polynomial because I've got look a power of negative 1 here so that doesn't meet the definitions for polynomials that you've done before. Now 
These ones were pretty easy to divide, but let's try dividing a couple of harder ones. But before we do that, let's actually have a look at um, dividing some integers. So we've got 197 divided by 12. I know you can very easily do this by plugging it right into your calculator. Boom, no problem. However, let's actually look at long division. So this is a method that you learned in primary school or you learnt last year if you paid attention last year. So we're going to go 12s and we're going to divide it into 197. So I go first thing, I go alright, um, 12s into 1. I can't do that so I'm going to put a 0 here and really you can probably not even bother with this step but I'll put a 0 there. Then I'm going to go, okay, 12s into 19. And I'm like, okay, well, there's one 12 in 19. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I've got a 12, and I'm going to write it down here. You're wondering, where did this 12 come from? Well, I got this 1, and I times it by this 12, and I put it here, because I want to work out how much is left over when I take away the 12 from the 19. And of course that's uh, dead easy. There's 7 left over. And then we bring the 7 down here. So we go, okay, we've got a 7 down here. And then we go 12 into 77. And I think that's 6 if I know my times tables. I hope so. Because 12 times 6 is 72, isn't it? And then I go, what happens when I multiply my 12 by my 6? I get 72. So I get 72. I'm just changing the color of my pen here. 72. And I've got 5. And there's nothing else to bring down because we're not doing any decimal points. And also 5 is less than 12. So we've got a remainder 5. Or we can write it as 5 over 12. So there's a couple of ways I can write this now. I can write 197 equals to 16 and 5 twelfths. Or I can write this. Oops, and I forgot to write something there. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to change it now. Um, what did I forget? You all know what I forgot. I forgot to put my divided by 12 there, so there you go. Alright, happy? Now it's right. Alright, or I can write it like this. 197 equals to 12 times 16 plus 5. And notice that these are all integers. 197, 12, 16 and 5 are all integers. And we've got here now the dividend. This is what's been divided. I call it the dividend. I've got the uh, divisor, what I'm dividing by here. Divisor. I've got the quotient. And down here, I've got the remainder. Okay, so remainder. Good enough. You know how to spell remainder. So now let's take a look and see if we can apply this with um, some polynomials. And when we do it, the dividend, divisor, quotient and remainder all have to be polynomials. So here you go. <clears throat> before you start this and before you pause your video, I'm just going to give you one little hint when you do this. And that's this. So we know we're dividing x minus 2 into 3x to the 4 minus 4x cubed plus 0x squared plus 4x minus 8. So that's the little trick that I've uh, got is see how there's no x squared here? Put one in here, otherwise all your um, working will kind of run together and you'll get things in the wrong column. Alright, so this is pretty easy. So now you pause the video and see if you can solve it. Okay, I hope you've done it. So I'm going to have... Oh, and also, 
this x here, we're just going to be dividing the x, okay? So the 2 is just going to come along for the ride. We're just going to be looking at the x part when we divide. So let's do it. We've got um, x into 3x to the 4 is 3x cubed, because what I did, I divided 3x to the 4 by x. All right, now we're going to multiply 3x cubed by x and put it down here just like we did before. So I've got 3x to the 4 minus 2 by 3x cubed. I think it's 6x cubed. Okay, by 6x cubed. Um, when I subtract this, these cancel out and I've got 2x cubed minus 4 minus minus 6. And then I'm going to bring my 0 x squared down here and I'm going to start this whole process again so I'm going to go 2x cubed divided by x and you've hopefully got the idea now I'm going to have plus 2x squared and maybe I should have written my x cubed above the x cubed here but that doesn't really matter so plus 2x squared and then I'm going to go 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. And 2x squared minus 2 is minus 4x squared. And subtract here. Notice that this little 0x squared, I reckon it just makes everything a little bit easier to work with. So here we go. 4x squared plus 4x and we're going to go 4x squared divided by x is plus 4x. 4x times x is going to be 4x squared. And just remember, I'm multiplying the 4x here by the x minus 2, which is what's giving me this line here. So what do I have? Minus 8x. Um, subtract and I have 12x, bring down the 8, minus 8. And now I'm going to do the division again. So let's do it. Plus 12, and I've got 12x minus 24. Subtract these, and I've got 16 left over. Okay, so hopefully you guys are okay with that. And now let's write out our division transformation. So we know that 3x to the 4 minus 4x cubed plus 4x minus 8 equals to x minus 2 by 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4x plus 12 and then plus what? Plus 16. And you can see here's my divisor. Oh, sorry, my dividend. So I'll just call that px. This is my divisor. This can be um, dx. Here's my quotient. And I'm just going to write on top of what I've already written. This is QX. It's a Q. And this is my remainder. This is RX. And just something to note also, the remainder always has to have a degree lower than the divisor, right? Because if this 16 had an X in it, I wouldn't stop. I'd go 16X divided by X minus 2. So my remainder always has to have a lower degree than the um, divisor, otherwise I'd keep dividing. Okay, oh, and I guess it's also the same thing with integers. The remainder always has to be less than the divisor. For example, I couldn't do something like this. I couldn't go, I don't know, 7 divided by 2 equals to 4 remainder 3, right? I know it's going to be 3 remainder 1, because this one here, this 3, can't be less than the 2, because I could keep dividing and put another 2 in there. Alright, so uh, let's try a slightly trickier example. 
Same numbers, but the only thing I've changed is I've made this an x squared up here. So pause the video and have a go at this, but if you like before you pause, I'm sorry to anyone who's already paused, um, actually write out a 0x in this one here. It'll just make your life a bit easier doing this division. So 3x to the 4 minus 4x cubed, and I'm just going to keep going, but please pause this video at uh, at any point you like and try and work ahead of me to check that you can do it. Um, squared, I've done this right, haven't I? Plus 4x minus 8. Let's hope there's no careless errors. All right, let's do it. So 3x to the 4, 3x to the 4 divided by x squared is going to be 3x squared. And let's do it properly this time and put the bit at the top actually aligned. So now I've got 3x to the 4 plus 0x cubed minus 6x squared. I hope that's right. Um, notice here that because I've got three terms in the divisor, I'm going to have three terms all throughout here, which is actually good. It's going to mean we're going to have less work to do rather than more. Okay, so these cancel out. This is going to be minus 4x cubed, I think, minus 4 minus 0. 0 minus negative 6 is plus 6x squared, and then I'm going to have plus 4x here. Okay, same deal, minus 4x cubed divided by x squared is, is it minus 4x? It feels like minus 4x, minus 4x, and then I multiply the minus 4x by all this stuff, and I get minus 4 x cubed plus 0 x squared plus, I think it's plus, plus 8 x minus 4 times minus 2 is plus 8 x. This is much harder to do when I don't have a classroom full of students to check on making careless errors. Alright, subtraction time. Dun, dun, uh, 6 x squared minus 4x, I really hope that's right, um, minus 8, and final step, so plus 6, I hope you guys know why it's plus 6, because I've got um, 6, um, because I've got 6x squared divided by x squared, and then I'm going to multiply all of this bit just by the 6 again, and here we go, 6x squared uh, what am I doing? I'm multiplying by 6. Plus 0x minus 12. And I've got here, this cancels out. Minus 4x, I think. Plus 4. And notice minus 4x plus 4 has a degree of 1, but what I'm dividing by has a degree of 2, right? So I can't divide anymore, and I stop the division. And just for fun, let's write out our division transformation. So, we know that 3x to the power of 4 minus 4x cubed plus 4x minus 8 equals to um, what? x squared minus 2 by 3x squared minus 4x plus 6 um, plus, and let's write it properly, in everything can have brackets, minus 4x plus 4. Okay, and there you go guys, that's the division transformation. Alright, let's... Um, Stop there.